Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the finale of Resident Evil. Claire, uh, Claire. Chris is the same person. These people don't have last names, because I guess they wouldn't have fit on the screen, so they wanted to make it so that, you know. And honestly, I have to say that the ending music to this game is not nearly as good as it is in later games. Uh, in fact, this is very like... Like, I don't know, this should be like at the beginning or something. But, that's not my problem. It's not theirs either. They're probably like, you know, rolling in dough, Capcom. They don't know what to do with themselves. They got so much money from uh, Resident Evil and a lot of their other titles too, uh, both Mega Man and, and uh, stuff like that. So, software engineers, sound system effect. Oh, they just had one? Uh, okay. I buy into that. Yeah, movie, I could see that. That was all, all that wonderful FM Venus was all shot in one, one freaking sitting. Authorizing system. That's it? Just one, one system had to be authorized? It took one person to come up with all the characters, and it took three people to make all the enemies. Hmm, interesting. Now we're just nitpicking, you know. Oh, you gotta love the special thanks. You know, these people, I, I, who Lord only knows what they actually did, probably one guy said, well, you know, I think, um, I think that guy should be there. And they're like, okay, we'll put you in the credits, don't worry. The Biohazard Symphony Orchestra. Ending theme, Tempest. Ooh, that makes it sound like it's just this awesome piece of music. I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever heard, but I don't know, a symphony orchestra for the ending just doesn't... Resident Evil 2 has the better one, I think. Actually, I think Resident Evil 2 has one of the best endings, ending uh, musics in all of them. Director of Photographer. Hmm. Don't think that's possible. <laughs> Post-production, Vision Universal Co. Limited. Director. You know, I'm glad I didn't try to squeeze these credits in some other video. My God, they're so long. You'd think this was a movie. All right, I think we're almost to the end. As the credits trail away. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Nope, we're still not done yet. Presented by Capcom, in case we didn't play the game from the beginning. Okay, we didn't start the game. Yep, we wouldn't have known it was from Capcom. And that's got to be on its own page. They couldn't put anything else on that page. It's like buying one of those full-page ads in a newspaper. Resident Evil. Should be in red. I don't like the white. Total time. It took three hours, ten minutes, forty seconds. No saves. Yes. What a tough guy. You've closed this case completely. Yeah, that's right. Fuck yeah. There is no end game rating in this game, I don't believe. I could be wrong. Yay! We got a special key, guys. This closet is the one that's off of the main hall. The armor key there. You go in there and you go into the closet. <laughs> okay, anyway. You do have to save... 
Um, if you don't save, then you will not have the key in your inventory. And that's how you get the alternate uniform. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Retro Gaming. This was Resident Evil Chris's uh, playthrough. Thank you, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next game.